Wake up, America! Our freedoms are at stake. You know, we can all try to pursue happiness, but if the government takes away your liberty, then there is no pursuit of happiness. And remember that if the government is able to take away your liberty, then the next thing it's going to be able to take away is your life. People don't care. You know, we're losing the country. Things are so bad now. The momentum is so strong and we're going, I mean, we're like lemmings going off a cliff. I know we're all so busy in our routines and schedules, but I swear if you got online and you Googled NDAA, you might be surprised at what's really happening in this country. There is a liberty movement happening in America right now. There are people who are drawing lines in the sand. You're taking away our rights. These are our rights. How the hell are you taking them away? I didn't know you could do this. Aren't we supposed to have checks and balances? How's the government signing this executive order? How are they pushing this through? How's the Supreme Court ruling this? Like, it's not. Where's our balance of powers? We're not growing up in the same period of time that our grandparents did. You know, even our parents, they grew up in a different world. They had just beaten Hitler. America was prosperous. You know, we're growing up in an America that looks like it has no future. This is about real issues. This isn't about whether you have an R or a D in front of your name. What's going to happen now with the politics, with what's happening in the country? I've got children. They can't find jobs. But the whole world is in trouble financially financially because it's the biggest financial bubble in the history of the world. I'm honestly scared for the future if we can't get rid of our debt now. Um, we're inheriting all that as like the youth of this generation. Our greatest threat today worldwide and in this country is a financial collapse. The U.S. government right now is in debt more than the entire output of planet Earth. When you see things taking place with the economy, you don't just all of a sudden get fired from your job without seeing some signs of something. Our federal government is coming down on people all over the country right now with a show of violence. You can go, go online and see video after video where the police are brutalizing people. The Constitution is supposed to protect us from the government and the government is claiming that they can protect us. And any time that you start hearing that, it's time to be afraid. The first time in U.S. history that our government will, will be able to force us to buy a commercial product that we don't want. That on the surface is completely un-American and unconstitutional. Those who promote big government for whatever reason are tyrants, and they want to go back to the tyranny of the ages. We want something new and wonderful, freedom for the individual. The message of liberty has no barriers. Everybody wants to be free. Armies and politicians and governments can't stop an idea whose time has come, Victor Hugo. And uh, I think that is true. Time has come, and they will not stop us. People are coming around. They're seeing through the crony conservatism of Romney and Santorum and Gingrich. This country is built on liberty and freedom and choice. You know, the whole Ron Paul revolution, it is a revolution in the truest sense of the word. It's a campaign about changing the hearts and minds and philosophy of who and what government should be. The last time the U.S. went to war constitutionally was 1941. Why are we taking our orders from a United Nations? People in the past gave us rights. We're not a democracy. We're a republic. We're challenging the status quo. We're challenging Democrats and Republicans. We're going to have to be the generation that either restores the Constitution or loses it. And I, I don't feel like being one of the people that lost it. I need you to ask yourself one question. Are you prepared to fight? See, anybody can step into the ring, but can you win?